Hello again everyone. So in this video I thought it'd be pretty slick exercise and curiosity let's just say to pit Google's Bard slash Palm 2 against OpenAI's ChatGPT as two battling lawyers. The two lawyers I chose were Harvey Specter from the TV show Suits and then the other one was from a TV show, legal TV show called Boston Legal. So there's Alan Shore there's Harvey Specter. So just to give you some, I guess, visuals on, on who the two attorneys that. So here we go. This is just the call, obviously, the function to call the Bard, and I passed in a prompt, and I returned the output. Here's the chat GPT calling function, passed in a prompt. You know what, let's make this even. Let's change both temperatures to one. And so the prompt that I get, first I, I set it up with initial prompt. So the initial prompt I just passed, obviously, uh, first right here to Bart. It says, act as a lawyer and provide a two-sentence statement about dismissing a child support case based on the mother's ineptitude as a caregiver. So then Bard prompt, who is actually Harvey Specter, says, you know, you are Harvey Specter, a ruthless yet brilliant corporate lawyer who will stop at nothing to win. You will lead your response with the statement, your honor, Mr. Shore is. Your argument will be adamantly against the response. Your response will be no longer than two sentences and cite a federal statute. Provide the argument of the following text. So basically it says the same thing, you know, for the chat GBT prompt. Other than, you know, I just changed you are Alan Shore. You will lead the response with your honor, Mr. Spector. Right, so let's go and see. Here I passed the initial prompt. So remember the basis of the initial argument was dismissing a child support case based on the mother's ineptitude. So your honor, Mr. Shores willfully uh, misinterpreting the law he claims the statute does not apply to him okay so here right now I think there's some some hallucination happening because now it's changed the context of you know what the initial argument was but this clearly this is clearly incorrect the statute clearly states that it applies to any person who knowingly and willfully violates the law Mr. Shore clearly blah 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 right so it says your honor Mr. And then this is Alan's response or chat GPT's response to Bart right your honor Mr. Specter is attempting to introduce evidence that was obtained illegally okay so then Harvey hits back, right? Your Honor, Mr. Specter. Okay, so once again, I'm wondering if because it passed on the Mr. Specter into Bard, it's coming out as Mr. Specter. So this is supposed to be Harvey uh, or Bard. Your Honor, Mr. Specter is attempting to introduce illegally obtained evidence in this trial. Okay, then now back to ChatGBT or Alan. Your Honor, Mr. Specter really is knowing. So, okay, so it's kind of like just regurgitating. And then back to Bard, Your Honor, Mr. Specter, okay, attempting to introduce evidence. Okay, so Mr. Specter's argument is baseless and unacceptable. It conflicts with the established precedents. I'm wondering if maybe if you, you know, put this on for a, lo a longer period of time or a couple more iterations, if it would get more better, the argument will be better. But who knows? Or maybe if, you know, I didn't limit it to two sentences, if I let it kind of carry on, maybe a paragraph or something, if, if the response is... But there you have it. There is no clear winner in this, to my knowledge, or to what I see. I'm not an attorney. It just looks like they're just going back and forth, arguing the same point. So there you have it. Little demo slash tutorial on Bard versus OpenAI's ChatGPT. Hope you enjoyed.